Our next guest will be the 2019, listen to this, last woman starting the marathon for a great cause. Here with more is local elite athlete, Megan Saloom. Thanks so much for being here. Hi, thank y'all so much for having me. So we were show prepping today and Derek and I were like, what, last woman? What is this even, to what? We couldn't figure out what this meant. We thought for sure it was a typo. Explain <laughs> to us, because it's not a typo. You are legitimately the last person to cross the start line. Yes, yes, I will be the very, very last person to start the race after everyone else does and I will start the race and then try and pass as many people as I can throughout the half marathon. To finish first. That would be the goal. <laughs> that is an ambitious goal. I like it, That's in, but probably not finish first. But, Let's um, talk about, though, Megan, why this is happening. Why, yes. why are you doing this? Okay, so I'm partnering with the um, Marathon Foundation, Chevron Marathon Foundation, and we are raising money and raising funds for their different programs um, and charities that throughout the Houston community. And so that's the goal. And so you have basically signage on that we're passing by and we can get on our phones and make that donation immediately when we see you. Yes, you can make that donation right now before I go online and do yes. it now. Um, but yes, yeah, so people will pledge money um, for each person I pass and or you can make a one-time donation. But yes, I will have a singlet. It will say last woman starting. Amazing. And um, yes. But the idea is the more people you pass along the way, the more money you raise exactly, in the end. Exactly, exactly, yes. That is correct. That is so cool. I can't imagine, though, the anxiety of, what is it, 26,000 odd people going, and you just I sitting know. there waiting. I know. Yes, <laughs> waiting to go. Somebody just tell me when to go. My, what I'm nervous about is not the starting, but once you start, just looking ahead and all of those people, you're like, okay, I have to get through these masses. Yeah. I have to get in zigzag and get around them. If anybody well, can do it though, Megan, so. <laughs> you are the right person for the job. Let's talk about some of your credentials for just a moment. Obviously, you're an elite athlete if you're doing this. Olympic trials marathon qualifier. Yes. What? And if that weren't enough, little baby Drew, you just gave birth to a baby seven months ago. Oh my word. Preschool teacher cute. at First Baptist Academy and Thank ran a 243 you. in 2016. So this is all so impressive. I can't believe seven month old baby and here you are ready to roll. Uh, he's amazing. So I would comment on Drew for a second, but yeah, he's great. We love him and, but yeah, um, I 2016 when I ran the marathon, it was at Houston. And so it's just so special to be able to come back and to do this at the marathon here. and. It's just an amazing weekend, not just for runners, but the entire city. It's such an inspiring event. Mm -hmm. I mean, it gives you all the feels from start to finish. Okay, you're gonna walk us through. We have a little game show for everybody to play along. Um, Clicktoboat.com. You guys grab your phones and play along with us. You wanna walk yes. us through? Yes, okay, so all right. we have a trivia challenge. Okay. And it is ABC questions. Okay. So, are y'all ready? We are ready. Always. Good, good, number one, let's see. What is the age of the oldest runner in the H Chevron Houston Marathon? A. Uh, oh, uh, hang on, hang on. A. 77. <laughs> teacher. B. 83. Or C. 99. I went first, and I would have said 83. <clears throat> you would be correct. Thank you. I, Very it's good. too much I of mean, a I reach. First, right? Right? <laughs> no. Would you like yours right here? Or on your, yes. I'm going here. Get it close. Competitive here. Okay. Okay, so one point, one to nothing. Question number two. Oh, well, I had to point that out. <laughs> okay. True or false? You are allowed to run backwards during the race. What? False. One to one. Yeah. It is false. Because you cannot run backwards during the race. You must be facing forward. And why is that? Because it's just Safety. dangerous. Safety. I have no idea. Safety. That is why. Safety. Safety. Yeah, we did not run, run backwards. backwards. Remember, we did a segment on Listen, running backwards we once. Did. <laughs> we did. And I still think it's ridiculous. I do too. But don't do it in this. Don't race. do it in this race. On your spare time, you can run backwards, but not in the marathon. Okay, number three. How many estimated calories are burned by marathon participants? Oh, that's a hard one. A, 47,880,000. B, 50,250,000. Or C, 62,078,900. Oh, I don't know, that was kind of... I think it was a tie. Courtney, A. And I'm going to say B. I'm going to agree with our viewers who are playing along at clicktovote.com. Okay, well, Courtney would be correct. Oh. Hmm. 
Okay. She's so subdued. Seriously, <laughs> <laughs> you're like doing the end zone dance. I know. You know what? Because I won poker today. Now I'm winning more questions. And now here. you just feel bad. No, but I feel bad. But I beat bad you in the tape losing. game. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the tape game we no, played? Don't know what you're You'll never about. forget okay, it. Okay, continue. Okay, two to one. Question number four. How many countries are represented by runners? A, 48, B, 59, or C, 65? I rank first, mm -hmm. and while our viewers weigh in at clicktovote.com right now, help me out, folks. Come on, answer. I'm gonna say A, and agree with the viewers. <laughs> well, now you she took, gets feisty. You see took that? too much time. Did you see that? Well, you'd be incorrect. Mm -hmm. Would you like to try, Courtney? B? B is right, 59. 59 countries are represented by runners. And just for fun, let's go ahead with number five. Can yes, do let's do it. How many spectators are expected? Um, 125,000, B, 200,000, C, 250,000. I'm gonna go C. What are you gonna say, Derek? I think you might be wrong. With what answer? What's your answer? I'm gonna say 200,000. C is the correct answer. Oh. Good job. Wow, Courtney. Thanks for playing. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sorry you all had to witness that. That was an embarrassment. Um, Megan, so that is so super cool. Again, remind us, if we are spectating and watching the runners, how can we donate to ensure we add to the pot of the money you're raising? Okay, so you can go online, and there is a link with the website that should flash up. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we're going to put the link up. Do not worry. We'll have that. Yes. And then is there any anything specific they need to know other than they'll see the link and they'll know they'll it's you? They'll see the link and my picture's on it and it'll have the story there and then they, you can go and you have two separate things where you can either make a one-time donation or pledge for the number of runners passed. And by the way, go out and spectate if you're not running it because oh, it you. means so, it means the yes. world to every single runner out there. Yes, yes. And they you don't have to know them, but just yeah, someone just like out there cheering, they are... Name. Absolutely. When you're at the end of the race and you're about dying and your body He's giving out that's what you need that's the encouragement you're gonna be awesome this weekend i know yeah. you don't need any luck but thank best of you. luck to you thank you so much we can't wait to see I how really much money you that. raise and congrats on little baby drew oh, thank you. that's thank so awesome you. thanks for playing the game too do appreciate yes, thank it